So last class we learned this formulas tan x differentiation is secant square cot x is minus cosecant square secant x is secant x tan x cosecant x differentiation is minus cosecant x cot x the same we are going to see now differentiation of hyperbolic functions so d by dx of sine hx same way i am going to write how i have done in the previous terms previous formulas sine combination is cos i have written cos combination is cos combination is sine and then tan combination is secant h square x and then d by dx of cot hx is equal to cosecant h square x and d by dx of secant hx equal to secant hx into tan hx so finally d by dx of cosecant hx equal to cosecant hx into cot hx so here three plus and these are all minus so therefore your differentiation formula is d by dx of sin hx is cos hx d by dx of cos hx equal to sin hx d by dx of tan hx equal to secant h square x d by dx of cot hx is minus cosecant h square x d by dx of secant hx equal to minus secant hx tan hx d by dx of cosecant hx equal to minus cosecant hx into cot hx so by comparing these terms we can easily remember for this i already told you the combinations you write then you take alternate plus or minus and here you take three plus three minus so this is the way you can easily remember the formulas same we are going to see the hyperbolic inverse functions differentiation formula so here i am going to write differentiation of sin h inverse of x equal to 1 by square root of 1 plus x square here we made plus and we are return this so once if it is positive no need of writing any condition here so this is the formula so from this i'm going to write the remaining terms here d by d x of cos h inverse of x so this can be written as square root of just i will change this here and i'm going to introduce a minus here just i'm going to change the term x square minus 1 x is greater than 1 the next formula is d by dx of tan h inverse of x equal to 1 by 1 here we should remember minus so minus x square here modulus of x is less than 1 so now I'm going to write reciprocal of this tan term is cot h inverse of x, same formula, 1 minus x square. Here modulus of x is greater than 1. Next to formula is d by dx of secant h inverse of x. So secant means it is a cos terms reciprocal. So therefore, what formula we are written for the cos h inverse just you observe this so here we are taken this x square minus one so i will reverse it and i will take one minus from this so i can write one minus x square that minus i will write it here minus one and i'm going to introduce a x here so therefore here x takes the value between zero and one d by dx of 
cosecant h inverse of x equal to cosecant h inverse of x equal to uh, same here we will compare this so for secant h inverse of x i have compared this cos and i have written and i have written by comparing this cos i have taken one minus in the denominator i have written in the minus in your numerator and i have introduced one x in your denominator so next uh, same so cosecant is your reciprocal of what sine by comparing this sine formula we can write this one same i can write here no change previously we have taken a minus here no need just you write the term as it is one plus x square and i will introduce a minus here and here you can take a modulus of x term so here x is not equal to zero is the condition we are written this as a plus form from this i have derived i have observed this and i have remembered so here just we are taken minus and we are remembered from this we are remembered this so next uh, by comparing this and this we remembered this secret h inverse formula similarly by comparing this cosecant and sine we are compared and we are remembered the formulas the another important formula is differentiation of functions power n that is equal to n into f of x whole power n minus 1 into f dash of x this look like same as the x power n differentiation formula so we have done that one n into x power n minus 1 is the formula here x if you differentiate it is 1 so we didn't mention that one basic theorems of differentiation so here two functions are there with plus or minus form we can apply the differentiation to each functions d by dx of f of x plus or minus d by dx of g of x next d by dx of constant into a function it means we are taken constant out and we are applied the differentiation only for the function this we should remember next differentiation of two functions in the form of multiplication first i kept f of x and i have differentiated g of x then i have kept g of x and i have differentiated f of x how to remember the concept means suppose we will have two vehicles one is two wheeler another one is four wheeler but you can drive one vehicle at a time so what is the possibility we will have so first we can have two wheeler you can drive the four wheeler or we can keep the four wheeler and we can drive the two wheeler so what is the combination of that so both if you add this is the possibility of driving the vehicle so same thing here two functions are given so for that what we will do we will keep one function and we differentiate the other one similarly we keep that one function and we can differentiate the other function what is the combination of that is your what possibility of finding the derivative we call this uh, derivative as product rule it's a product rule usually we will study it like this differentiation of uv so differentiation of u is nothing but differentiation of u v is nothing but u v dash that can be written as d by dx of v and we can write v d by dx of u so we can write like this u v dash plus v u dash is the suppose the same thing you will have in what three variables so three vehicles are given three vehicles are given same procedure you keep two vehicles and you drive one vehicle any two vehicle you can keep and you drive the other one same process here you i can keep vw and i'm going to differentiate u this is a formula for 
differentiation of e v w functions so here f of x g of x h of x i have mentioned so therefore we have done one function derivative only at the time so the possibility of all will give you the result the last one we are learned this as division rule u by v so how we will remember this you take the denominator and make square what you are done in the denominator what you are written in the denominator you write it in the numerator and find the other one derivative so here division rule means minus you remember we are differentiated u so you keep the u as it is here we just return the v as it is so we have to differentiate the v now so this is your what formula so we will write like this we will write the formulas like this v square v so u dash minus u v dash so these are all the formulas you should remember to solve the problems the next video we will see the problems based on this formulas what we have learned thank you